Hello everybody, I'm Rockman, and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Last time, we went through the rest of the manor and got to the top, where we encountered the Black Knight, who had captured Velma, and then we saved Velma by defeating the Black Knight. So this time, we're going to be going through this door. We also acquired the banana-flavored galoshes, so those will probably come in handy, allowing us to avoid sticky surfaces and... Oh, monster token. Uh, can I get it? Yes? Nice. It's also had the Spectre. And some boxes. They probably have Scooby Snacks or something in them. I'll gladly take these. Okay, there's also a warp gate. So I guess... Is that how we get out? What's down here? Wait, this is that spot. Okay. So it just loops around. We can go through here, and this will take us to the end of this map. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay. Well, anyways, we have the galoshes. So I remember two spots that we could use stuff on. One was in the hedge mage, which I believe we needed an invention to get through. I think it was maybe the galoshes? The other was in Smuggler's Cove. Shock on the Dock Part 2, I think. Yes? No? Yes. Okay. And then the guy was here, but he's not anymore. Okay. Now we can jump. Cool. Okay, I was right. I knew there were two spots we needed inventions to go to. And there's a Mystery Machine, and it looks like we have intense platforming. Okay, well this will be fun. Oh, and I fell. But there's Scooby Snacks down here, so that's good. I'll take these. There's also a button. What does this do? Nothing. Okay. Oh gosh, what are you? Okay. Nope, get out of here. Wait, can I get over there with this? Nope, okay. I have no idea what that thing is, or what these things are. Since the last time I recorded, I looked up some monster names. But I don't recall seeing those guys ever, so I'm not sure if those are some original monsters that they made for this game, or... I just missed them or something. I don't know. But at this point, I just want to get through here. Please. Okay. Nope. Just trying to prat the platform. Platform, good. Game, please let me do this. Oh. Okay. Nope. So if my commentary is not the best, it's just there's a lot going on. There's a sandwich there. Okay, so I can get my health back. Uh, can I get these Scooby snacks? Not easily. It's probably a way to turn off these conveyor belts. Actually, that button back there that I couldn't do anything with probably was the way to turn it off. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Oh, there's a button right there. Maybe that'll do the trick. Can I ram into you? Yes, I can. Okay. So those can be killed. That blows wind over there? Okay, I don't know how that's going to help me, but... Whatever. Let's just try to keep our footing, though. The floor is slippery down here fish oil and all that stuff. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, no. Let's just jump and run along. Hopefully we can make this jump this time. Yes, we did. Good job, Scoob. You did it. You did it. Good job. Good boy. 
And it looks like we need keys now. Okie dokie. Oh, there's elevators now, I guess. So, along with looking at monster names, I also looked up some movies for Scooby-Doo, since we're just platforming now, might as well talk about stuff. Uh, oh, it's Captain Cutler. Yeah, I didn't know your name last time, but now I do. Anyways, uh, I was looking up some of the movies, and I mentioned before, like, there's a Cyber Chase one with the Cyber Monster, and I just missed that key there. Good job, me. Uh, there's also one with the witches. Uh, the Hex Sisters, I believe they're called. That was a good one. I remember that one. Do you remember? I remember. Uh, then there is also a really great one. The Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island with the amazing It's Terror Time song. If you want to listen to a super amazing spook song, it's Terror Time again. I'm not sure who the artist was, but it's great. Go listen to it. Uh, oh, can we get to this? No, okay. But of course, the most amazing Scooby-Doo movie of all. One that I actually own and I can't believe I ever got the last time I was talking about movies and stuff for Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo meets the Batman. 10 out of 10, movie of the century. Go watch it. It's amazing. Scooby-Doo meets the Batman. Real thing actually happened. Gold. It's amazing. Okay, well, there's the key now. But yeah! I feel bad that I completely forgot about it. But it's a thing that actually happened. And that's all I got for conversation right now. Fortunately, I didn't rewatch it, so I can't give you a proper review while I'm talking right now. Which is a shame. I should have, but time and stuff. Oh, can we break this open? Nope, okay. Oh, another key, nice. And a button. Don't know what that did. Oh, it did that, okay. I'm just gonna grab these last snacks here. Oh, what's this take us to? Another key, maybe? There's some crabs. Okie dokie. Oh, it's the last key. Nice. Okay. I was right. Might as well grab these snakes as well. Just add on a few. Actually, this is the last area. Crap. I should wait for that to come back. Yes. Okay. It does come back. Oh. Nope. Nope. Scoop. Platform. I want to not miss this. There we go. Okay. Phew. Okay, that was close. Probably not really, but still. Also, I was reading the game's manual. This food isn't just regular food, it's actually called comfort food, technically, in the canon of this game. Kind of funny. How it heals Scooby. It doesn't even heal him, it just calms him down. Amusing. Okay, well, what's over here? Scooby Snacks, Captain Cutler, this Ghost, not actually Captain Cutler. It's a ghost spook. What's that? Well, guess it's time for the exit. Okay. Oh. Oh. Platforming on the slippery ice is pain. Well, it's not ice, it's like liquid. I guess, which is ice, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I never know. Okay, well, there's stuff down here, so I'll take this, sure. Is there anything over here? No? Okay. Whatever. Didn't want anything anyway. Except these snacks. 
and thank you camera for completely not following Scooby. That could be bad. So, kind of jumped the shark there with Batman. Yeah, there was the Hex Sisters, Zombie Island. I really like the art style of those movies too. Like you have the original style of the shows, and there's like the more modern stuff, like with what's new Scooby Doo. But I really like the art style of those movies. I enjoy it quite a bit. Big fan. Kind of sad it didn't come back for any actual TV shows. It was completely changed in like the newer stuff. Apparently they brought back Scooby-Doo. Looks pre pretty bad actually, like... I don't know what happened or who was the artist they're hiring. I don't like it though. Okay, well, there's stuff down here. I'm pretty sure that was the exit, but... I want food. And there's a trampoline right there anyway, so whatever. It's not like I'm missing out on anything. Okay. Fish area isn't that bad. When we first saw those sea monsters and having to fight them on slippery ice, I was thought that would be a major pain, but evidently it's not. Oh, but did I miss any snacks up here? No, I didn't. Okay. At least if I did, I didn't see them. Fishy clues for Scooby-Doo. Okay. This looks like it's going to be fun. Oh boy. It's not forming on these conveyor belts. So fun the first time we did it. And there's flying fish. Although I don't see anything down there, so... I'm not gonna try falling down. Okay, there's the path down there. Nice. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I failed. Oh, there's an axe down here. Can we charge into you, please? Thank you. Okay. That was close. Though, worst case scenario, if I die, I'll just go back to the entrance, which I was doing anyway, so whatever. 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 Still a save. Watch out for those fishies. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, well. Since I don't even want to see that again, I'll just skip until I succeed, I guess. Okay. Well, at least I made it on this side. I'm seeing lots of Scooby Snacks down there, so I'm not sure if I just want to go to the doorway? Oh, there's a teleport too. Nice. Let's see what's down here exactly before we move on to the next area. Nothing, just a few snacks. Okay. There's someone over here, I'm pretty sure. Besides the monster. Nothing? Okay. Okie dokie. It looks like there's another room back there, but whatever. I won't fight for it. Oh, actually. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Okay. Wasn't expecting this here, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Well, it looks like it's too much effort to get those snacks, so... Let's just head on to the next area. And we have another of these gates here. The thing I was wondering about these gates... It, it, like, it, we're led to believe that Scooby's eating these snacks. 
when we go to those gates, they remove the snacks from our inventory. So, is it just like weighing Scoob? Is he like spinning them up? Because that'd be kind of gross. How does those work? Like, I know the answer is video games, but... Really, for all purposes, how do those gates work? There's Caveman, yep. Oh, being blocked by a button. Uh, can we please get rid of you? Thank you. There's also Cutler. There's also a bunch of snacks there. How do I get those? Figure that out later. And there's a mystery machine. So let's go down here and see what this is. Okay. That's how you get them. Okay. Well, we've been going on for a little bit now. And since there's a mystery mission in here, I'll just save. And I think this is a good spot to end it. So, next time on Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, we'll be deciding if we're going to the fishing village, the lighthouse, or whatever this direction leads us. See you guys then.